concerned. But the big story that the entire world is watching. In about 24 hours, India's moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, will attempt a soft landing on the lunar surface. Ahead of this, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has shared latest pictures of the moon captured by the camera on the landing rover. Archana is standing by now to take us through the final phase of uh, Chandrayaan's mission. Uh, Archana, many thanks. ISRO, of course, giving us updates on what we can expect tomorrow. But the crucial time will be about 4 p.m. IST when a decision will be made whether to proceed tomorrow for the last lap or not. Take us through where things currently stand. Absolutely. Thank you, Shireen. There are so many emotions right now around the Chandrayaan-3 landing on the moon. And why not? Because if successful, India will become the first country to, lo to land on moon's south pole. 23rd August, that is tomorrow at 5.45 p.m. India time, Chandrayaan-3 will attempt a soft landing and is expected to touch down on the surface of the moon around 6.4 p.m. There's a lot of curiosity about how Chandrayaan-3 will do so because it is during this phase when Chandrayaan-2 crashed the last time. And K. Sivan, then chairman of ISRO, had described this phase as 15 minutes of terror. Let's attempt to explain how the landing will happen in four phases. From Bengaluru, ISRO will give command to lander Vikram in phase one. The Vikram lander that would be orbiting the moon at an altitude of 30 kilometers will be in a horizontal position and will attempt to come down. The velocity at this point will be 1.68 kilometers a second. Now this process will take about 690 seconds. In stage 2, the lander which would now be at 7.4 kilometer height from the moon's surface will tilt from horizontal to vertical position. The speed of the lander will be reduced further and this process will take about 10 seconds. Phase 3, which is called the final braking phase, the lander will fully move into the vertical position from the horizontal position and it will now cover a distance of 28.52 kilometers to the landing site and the speed will be zero. The craft is now just 800 to 100 meters away from the moon's surface. Now, this is the trickiest phase as Chandrayaan-2 crashed in the same stage when it lost control. And stage 4, when the lander is almost near the landing site, it will then carry out some tests to understand whether there are some obstacles or not. That is when it will decide to land there itself or move to a different location where it is safer to land. Now, Chandrayaan-3 will target a similar landing site as its predecessor and this region is of important uh, interest because, it's because of the potential presence of water that was discovered by none other than Chandrayaan-1. So basically, these 15 minutes are very crucial. The lander has to fire its engines at the right time, at the right altitude and use just the right amount of fuel and finally touch down. Not to mention the lander Vikram has to do all of its all of this on its own because ISRO will not be able to guide much from Earth. Now what next? After the successful landing, the images captured by the cameras on board, the spacecraft will be shared with Earth. However, ISRO has said that yes, if, there are, if the conditions are not favorable, the touchdown will be pushed to 27th of August. Back to you. Well, Archana, we are all going to be watching with bated breath, uh, uh, you know, the, the last lap, so to speak, of Chandra and 3, and all eyes will be on that crucial ISRO mission, as uh, Archana was pointing out, uh, you know, the former ISRO chief describing that 15-minute uh, that a period that Arshana just explained to us as 15 minutes of terror. Uh, well, we wish uh, the team at ISRO the very best of luck. And with that, it is time for us to...